I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. We're looking at the Psalms, the prophetic Psalms. And you may recall the other day I mentioned to you that Allenby, General Allenby of the British Army, liberated Jerusalem in 1917. Well, I want you to see a little bit of this uh, lecture that I gave before a live audience at a prophecy conference in Florida. I want you to see what I had to say. It shows the pictures of General Allenby in the airplanes. And uh, we'll be back with you in just a few moments. Watch this incredible study. Psalms. Now, just want to touch on a few by way of introduction as we're moving toward our original Psalm 102. In Psalm 17, we are told in verses 8 and 12, Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings, like as a lion greedy of his prey. There are three things I want you to see in these verses. First of all, the lion, which is the symbol of Great Britain, the apple of God's eye, which is Jerusalem, and the shadow of his wings. I want you to notice that Allenby, General Allenby of the British Army, brought his troops up from Cairo to surround Jerusalem, and on the morning of December 9, 1917, they used airplanes to go over the city of Jerusalem, 200 of them, in formation, and scared the Turks into surrender. They ran up a white flag and surrendered without firing a single shot. Keep me as the apple of the eye. You see, as a Christian, General Allenby prayed, Lord, let me take Jerusalem without destroying the holy places. Well, nobody destroyed the holy places. He didn't have to pull a single trigger, didn't have to fire a single shot. Just the fact that those airplanes scared the Turks and realized the immense power of the British Army, the Turks just meekly gave up, fulfilling Psalm 17. It happened in 19... 17. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Allenby liberated Jerusalem in 1917, and we have the story of it, at least an allusion to it, in Psalm 17. Fascinating. He talked about the apple of the eye. Jerusalem is the apple of God's eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. He used airplanes to scare the Turks. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, verse 12 says, the lion is the symbol of Great Britain. Unusual. But profound, the lecture that I gave is available for you. I want to make it available to you as a free gift. If, if you can help us with setting up our new studio uh, while you're watching this webcast, we're taking these lights down, taking these cameras over to the other building, to our new studio, getting things set up in there. And of course, over the next few weeks, we'll be upgrading this studio. We want to go to a 16 uh, by nine format, that's the high definition, you know, wide screen. Uh, the screen is wider than it is tall. And instead of this four by three uh, picture that you're seeing now. And we want to do that. We've got some equipment to buy. And so we're asking for your help. And uh, is this, uh, during this Christmas season, if you have uh, an extra gift for the Lord who should be at the top of your Christmas list, uh, maybe you could uh, share it with his work here so that uh, we can have a good presentation uh, telling folks that our Lord is coming back soon. Okay? If you can send us a gift of any amount, whether it's $10 or $20 or $100 or 1000 or whatever it is, just ask for the Prophetic Psalms, the DVD. We want to send it to you uh, by way of uh, saying thank you for your help to uh, set up our new studio. So call us today, will you? Just call the phone number at the bottom of your screen here. It's 1-800-475-1111. Uh, Talk to someone in our office, and we can take your donation and get this sent right on out to you. You can get it before Christmas if you hurry, okay? I'm J.R. Church. God bless you for watching today. We'll see you again tomorrow with our webcast.